Alright, so what's up guys, Kai Fishing 100 This is my saltwater episode of the two part series of the fishing poles and lures As If you saw the first one, I'll put a link somewhere up there If I can know, if I know how to do it And uh, these are my salt, fresh water fishing poles, sorry about that Those two, right there This is my saltwater This bad boy right here This big ass Omni Quantum Real Fishing Pole God damn I love this thing I haven't tested it out but I tested it out when it, it was February On my friend's pond it was frozen and snow all over so I tested it out with a With a weight like this Yeah It worked pretty good So this is a saltwater fishing pole it's of course $150 from uh Uh where in the name Bass Pro Shops in uh, Florida uh, near Miami I went there in February for a break uh, for six days most of you may know that I got a fishing pole $150 and got some lures I don't know if I have them in here but no they're not here one of them are in here this one Two dollars, no, one dollar. And then I sent for one. And then I got some of my kayak over there. But well, I'm not gonna take it out right now. Is it my fresh water? Not my salt water. That's my fresh water. It's my salt water. That's my salt water. This is my fresh water. So I got some more fresh water poles back there. I'm gonna show you them. This reel is amazing. It's a uh, big ass hell. And it's uh. You can hold 350 yards, I have 150 yards of line, of 65 pound fi fly fishing line, power pro, I'm going to get a 300 yard, 50, or I don't know how much pounds, but I'm going to get that and put it on here, and I have it rigged for the ocean, well, not quite, but, get that, yeah, I'm going to put a weight on it, uh, this way on it, or this way, either one, doesn't matter, I'm going to put it right, up there so if I go next week um, I'm going kayaking with my teacher next week next Sunday so I'm gonna hopefully take this and uh, try some fishing at the ocean with like cut up mackerel and stuff like that so here are my salt water lures just are, um, oh my god what is it called uh, cr uh, lobsters scented lobsters use some weights this is another big hook. What is this doing here? It's my fresh water. This bobber and hook. No, 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 wait, wait. That big of a hook. No, that's salt water. Alright. Again, that's my salt water. Small box. Put that one on it. So that's one of my boxes. Right there. Pain is broken. I got it. A new one, so. Don't drink me of that. These are uh, spinner, uh, I don't know what it's called, jigging baits. It's all water. I used this, I caught a big bluefish once. Uh, so, yeah. These are fake worms, uh, weighted, weight head worms, or I don't know what they're called, but I don't want to give you false information. These are another jig baits, stuff like that. These are, this is pretty cool. I like the head on this. Looks real. And this came with the fishing pole. So, I'm um, sorry it's uh, short, but here are my other some uh, saltwater fishing poles. This isn't even rigged up yet, but th as you can see, no reel. But I kind of broke it right there because I thought it was broken. He got pissed at me, so he broke it. I put duct tape on it. I put a reel on that and test it out. Again, this one has no reel. The reel kind of broke, and I put a new reel on that. Saltwater fishing pole. This one is a saltwater fishing pole, and it has a reel extension cord. So about that. Hold on. A stupid extension cord for the tanks, for the filters. It's a pretty nice reel. It's like 10 pounds, 12 pound line. I don't know, but I'm gonna change that up. So I'm hoping to test these out pretty soon. I'm going kayaking with my friend in June if he ever comes to my house because he never comes to my house uh, after school ends and uh, before I move to Florida in 
I'm gonna go to the ocean with all these fish, all four fishing poles, and test them out on this kayak. So I got new rod holders, got new rod holders, updated a little bit, and uh, yeah, made this. This is uh, I don't know. Like when you see a down tree and you want to stay in that place and there's current, you just uh, unclip one of these from uh, the crate, whatever you have on there. And then you clip it. Oh, God. Yeah, let me do it here. You do this. You go around the tree or the branch and whatever, and then you clip it there. Let me do it really fast, so. Like that, and you just stay in one place. You don't move. The kayak doesn't move from that place. It keeps going backwards. I say the current's coming this way, you don't go that way. You just stay in that place and uh this holds you back so I made it up on uh last two I think it was a week ago or two weeks ago. I was in my aunt's pond fishing with my friend and uh caught a crappy a trophy crappy about a foot. Kept it on the taxidermy and give you the final result of that taxidermy fish. And I got some more Power Pro line. This is what it looks like in the box. Power Pro. This is 30 pound test, 150 yards. I have some spare in here, and I got some lights in there, glow sticks, everything. Everything you need. Also, freshwater hooks. Hooks right here, a bobber right there, and weights. And I got the Romania keychain right there, presenting my country. That's where I'm from, so don't judge me about that. I got this on there. This blue thing. Uh, what is it called? This to put the, uh, keep the fish in the water and uh, keep it not from swimming that way from the boat. And I got attached to there. So I'm hoping to test all this out next Sunday when I'm going with my teacher. He's a pretty good guy. And uh, he doesn't do much, that much fishing, just kayaking. What? This kayak's so much better than mine because it's like 12 foot. It's a narrow kayak and doesn't do fishing. You just kayaks and I don't know why, but yeah, that's what it does. So I'll get you guys some videos from uh, there. I'll hopefully have the hat cam uh, up and working to get you a um, visual of me going under the 95 tunnel, which is pitch black, and all you see is that much light at the end of the tunnel, and it's. Uh, about a half a mile across and I'm going in the kayak in pitch black that's why I have lights on the front and let me show you that in the kayak one flash right there and one flash right there sorry for tilting the camera let me just turn them on see like that and that's going to help me and I have a oh that's not in here I have a hat Adidas hat and you have a clip on light that has three modes. One is flashlight, uh, high beam, flashlight, low beam, and one is night vision, which is red, and one is night vision, which is green. That's gonna help me out, and uh, yeah. I'll hopefully, hopefully add some more lights to my kayak. Probably today or tomorrow, before I go. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, please give a like, rating. It really helps me out. Hey, it's gonna help you guys in the long run because I'm gonna do if I um get out of machinima hopefully and they uh pay me to do this crap like X Shaws most of you are familiar with X Shaws I don't know how much it gets but I'm not allowed to tell you you're not allowed to tell me either I'm not allowed to tell you and uh if I get paid I'll do giveaways I'll buy fishing poles for you guys do giveaways um. Much how x files do it, does it, and hopefully I'll get you guys some of that. So I'll get you guys like a fishing pole like this, two hundred dollars for a fishing pole like this, salt water fishing pole like this, sixty dollars. You just get it for free by entering the competition. It's totally free competition. I'm spending a lot of money for you guys if I hopefully get my cinema. So I haven't even, I can uh, put a video on there. I'm gonna make a trailer for my uh movie kayak movie so yeah guys i'm running, I'm running low on time i got like five seconds here so please give a like 
in this. I'll see you guys later. Peace.